The PSP era is the last time Idea Factory developed their own games. Right after the PSP, they uh, bought Compile. Compile, you know, what, what you guys don't know about Compile is that it's a really old company from the early 90s, I think, or late 80s, and they were doing all types of games, you know, random games of all genres, you know, shoot em ups you know, puzzle games, you know, platformers, etc. Compile. Because people, you know, sometimes think, when they, when they play these retro games and they see the logo Compile, they think, oh... Is this the same company as Compile Heart? I mean, the guys who created the Hyper Dimension Neptunia games? Hard to believe, right? But the thing is that Compile was a company, I think, and then some of the uh, employees... When Compile disappeared, I don't know which year it disappeared, probably in the mid-2000s, it disappeared. And some of its employees founded Compile Heart. And Idea Factory, I think, bought them bought this new company and now they're like the same company you know that's why you often see these logos idea factory compile hard but in reality idea factory has some of its employees its own employees i think working with compile hard co-working with them but most of the idea factory games nowadays are developed by compile hard and um idea factory just publishes the games in japan and now it's starting slowly starting to publish their own games here in in the West. So that's what's happening, you know, because I think a lot of people get these terms mixed up. You know, but uh, Compile is a legendary company from the 80s and 90s, I think. They created Puyo Puyo, that's right, you know. They, they've been there for a long time. It's just probably most of the employees that quit Compile and formed Compile Heart were kind of on the uh, edgy side of things. Where they kind of wanted to do something more kinky with video games, and they that's exactly what they did. And Idea Factory was like, hey, I do all these strategy, you know, turn-based RPGs, and um, I want to I wanna add some more spice into them, you know, so what do you got for me, Compile Heart? Oh, we got these overly sexualized designed characters. So Idea Factory said, oh, we're going to take these lollies, and these, you know, really sexy, cute girls into my really complex and convoluted, you know, turn-based and also strategy RPGs. And then they fuse, like in Dragon Ball Z, you know. Fusion! And that happened. Hyper Dimension Neptunia was created. And several other JRPGs, like Fairy Fencer. Fairy Fencer 2 coming out probably next year, I think. It looks like it's gonna be kind of different. Not an action RPG, I hope so, because the original was turn-based. And we hate, we hate when we change when they change turn-based to action, don't we? <laughs> Except in Orton Elico 3. I've always stood up for that game. And they learned their lesson and they came back to turn-based with Arno Surge. But anyway, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, Compile Heart is a company that I think gets a lot of undeserved shit. Even for me, I don't like the Neptunia series one bit, I think it's trash. But um, I don't think they're bad games, you know, they're just there, they have a market, they have a niche market, they have their, you know, um, their positive things about them, you know, I mean, I gotta admit some of the girls look really sexy, and I think the battle mechanics are fine, you know, I've played a bunch of them and they're okay, I don't think I have any quarter against the battle mechanics in Neptunia, I mean, they, they are not the best battle systems, you know, but they're, they're okay. I don't really have, really have a lot to say about Neptunia, to be honest, you know, but um, I mean, I, I don't have a lot of negative th things to say about Neptunia, I just don't like it, you know, there's just the main characters kind of ruin it for me, you know, this, these lowly characters, if the characters were, all, were older, you know, you know, and sexy and older, you know, I will be so into them, you know. And they also the humor in them, I, I think the idea is okay, you know, it's fun, it's interesting, you know, every girl has, uh, represents a console or a company, you know, but um, it's just not my type of characters and not my type of humor, you know, they're supposed to be funny and, you know, take a few laughs out of you, and I know it's funny for a lot of you, hell of a lot of fun, but not for me, you know, I'm, I'm like... I'm not laughing, I don't find it funny, you know, it's just, uh, okay, their jokes are like, ha, huh, that's it, 
but that's just me. So yeah, Compile Heart gets a lot of underserved shit, and um, I, I think people should know the history of it before opening their mouths and judging the company. They think it's this trash fan service company, you know, just look at the history. It's a, it's a company that's been there for a long time. <laughs>